With this chapter, you are now being introduced to one of the primary essential components of a circuit, which is the, the capacitor. And we're going to see what it's used for. We're going to see what the makeup of the capacitor is and uh, its definition. So we start with the definition of capacitance. C stands for capacitance. And it's defined as, the capacitance is defined as the, uh, uh, the charge uh, divided by the potential difference. So usually you have, uh, let me show you three generic types of capacitors. You have a certain plate here. Okay. And usually you, you'll uh, hook up the plate to some kind of battery or something, right? And you will, uh, the charge will flow like this. The current will flow. And the positive charge will build up on one plate while negative charge is induced in the other plate, right? So this, this, uh, this uh, negative charge is induced in the other plate. So the capacitance of this capacitor is going to equal to the charge of the positive side or to the absolute value of the charge on the negative side. These two charges are going to equal. The only difference is they have opposite and equal charges, right? So we take the absolute value of either charge. We divide it by the potential difference between the plates, OK? Same thing is true with uh, if we do a spherical capacitor. So we could have a certain kind of capacitor that the current goes, builds up on the outer sphere. In this case, it's going to have to be a hollow sphere. The outer sphere is going to have to be hollow so that you can embed inside of it another sphere. And that sphere is going to have a wire coming out of it. Maybe there's a little hole here, right? And then the wire comes out of it to this. And then so this side is the negative charge. Or we could do it opposite way too. We could have the inside as positive, and we could have the outside as negative. It really doesn't matter. So we could reverse the charges of the battery. And we would still use the same formula, Q over delta V, to find its capacitance. And then the last one is the cylindrical. Right? So that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to find the capacitance of a, this is known as a parallel plate capacitor. And that's called a spherical capacitor, and that's called a cylindrical. So uh, we, we will show how to find the capacitance of each. And then we'll show what happens when we put a dielectric in the, in the middle, like a, some kind of insulating material. OK? So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the units of capacitance. The capacitance is the charge, which is coulombs, coulombs divided by volts. So if, by, if you place one volt, if you place one volt across a capacitor, and if it can store one coulomb of charge, then that's a one farad capacitor, OK? So that's known as one farad. In the real world, however, most of the capacitors that you, uh, in a circuit, if you open your TV or radio or anything, you'll see a circuit board there. And most of the realistic capacitors are like microfarads, maybe millifarads. So Most actual capacitors are milli or microfarads, so, and you'll see those in our labs, you know. 
you'll see those, um, some are even as small as like nano or picofarad. Okay, and what's the goal of the capacitor? Well, pretty much its goal is to in, uh, store charge, act as a temporary storage device, and you can also hook it up to a resistor, of course, and other components of the circuit, and it will help, uh, uh, the, the capacitor will help in the discharge uh, time. We're going to study that later in uh, chapter 28. We'll see, we'll, we'll talk about what RC circuits are. And we'll see that the time constant of an RC circuit depends on the resistance and the capacitance. The bigger the capacitance and the bigger the resistance, the longer it will take it to discharge. So you see, the bigger the capacitance, the more longer it can store charge. So you can almost think of a capacitor as a temporary battery. That's maybe the way I could put it, as simplistic as a way of imagining it. It's a temporary battery that acts as a temporary source of voltage. You see? <clears throat> so this is my, Mr. Collegian's definition. <laughs> um, okay, so now let's talk about what would be the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitors. Uh, 